All right, here we are. We're back, and we will. Con Was that loot? We'll continue. What volume is this? Correct. We'll continue with this dandelion story. Hopefully, it comes to an end soon. This is what the third episode, I think. There must be order. Thing I piss me trousers. Uh. So how do you go with this healer? I was. Is this even one. in the town? Oh, okay, it is. It's close by. Oh shh! Do I misclick? Not sure why they hate me. Have I done anything to this guy yet? I don't remember. Ah, here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
Karen! Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. It permits me to introduce uh, this year's Priscilla, known also as Calinetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. I was actually gonna say, was a song about um, Geralt and uh, Yen? Uh, give me a moment, just checking some sounds. Making sure I'm double recording the game audio. Um, yeah, uh, but apparently it's uh, about Geralt, Yen, and Triss. Maybe you said multiple. I'm, I'm, I, I initially thought it was about uh, Geralt and. Yen. And also, did you guys see that guy that was scratching his ass in the middle of the show? <laughs> Just a random ass scratch. <sighs> Anyways, um, nice song. Uh, way better than Toss a Coin. Not a big fan of Toss a Coin. Um, die Witcher Die is, uh, or Die Butcher Die is, uh, is pretty good though. That one's pretty good too. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah, uh, every time the um, the song was chopping, it seemed to be like a cut. Uh, not me. I did not cut or edit anything. If you're wondering, that's uh, just uh, <laughs> some poor uh, audio mixing right there. That was the game chopping in uh, in the middle of the song. That was on me. Anyways, let's continue. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. Forgot to pay for his wedding to Pasa Flora once. And laid awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. 
is one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Veres, and the King of Beggars. A rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, all right. I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back. Geralt! Tell me, you and Dandelion, how do you meet? At a poetry tourney in Ellender. Naturally, I'd already heard much about Master Dandelion. And it proved true. At first, I thought him a bloated, narcissistic buffoon. Just at first? Well, only cows don't change their minds. I changed mine when he came to congratulate me. Never expected he could lose so graciously. Dandelion can be irritating, I shan't deny it. Yet, I also know he can be fair and noble at times. Well, I very much doubt I could bear to have him around were it not so. I see. I get it. All right. Take care now. Got some loot here, lady. Geralt! No, not... No, I want your items. Take care now. Ah oh, yes, dumpling. Very delicious. Geralt. Oh my god. <laughs> take care now. I take all your crap. What's this? Oh. Alright. Time to skedaddle out of here. Wait, there are no stairs down here? I must have uh, I'm thinking of a different building. Do you seek to get me drunk? Also something on the other side here. Can I climb up? I can. Nice. Quills mightier than the sword, oh yes. Let's see. A junior. Hope this doesn't interfere with the uh, the blacksmith quest, master smith. Now you, because he is also involved with some underground stuff. Right? Well, we'll have to find out. Anybody there? Open up. Is that just a bathhouse? What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You 
You'll make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Uh, let's see. I'm not gonna take any anything off. Out of your mind. Maybe I have to? Get out of the way, sir. Seems like I am, in fact. Oh, come on. There we go. Please put all my shit back on when I'm done. Siggy Ruven awaits in the next room. Hey, Whitehead. Nice bum you have. <laughs> you were right. He doesn't blush. Oh. And Junior cut off his hand, then ordered them to shove it up the corpse's ass. And then he sent the boy back for loving and extended him like peace. A horse. Got me break now. <laughs> Clear that you've not seen Reuben. Gudrun calls We're wasting it time, overall. and this is a simple uh -huh. matter. <laughs> Fun stuff. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? None of your business. Your friend got a death wish. <laughs> no, just short on manners. Witches aren't exactly the sophisticated urban types. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Oh. He got caught into some. Uh... I don't some problems. With my prick out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy with the full sleeve tattoo? We need one alive. Eat assassins. There's loot here. No? There's loot markers on the. There's loot markers on the map, though. Interesting. Come on. Work, gents. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarf's Carlo Vares, 
No, no, so is Cleaver. Carlos in entertainment, mostly. Wait, is that the guy that um, runs the, uh, the the grove? The guy with the sleeve? His face is. Uh, I recognize his face. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? I mean, I recognize his face, I just don't remember where I saw him. Kind of looks like the temple guy. But I know he's not the temple guy, but he kind of looks the same. Junior is going to help me find someone. Horson's not helped a soul in all his miserable life. I'll ask him nicely. See, Cleaver, perhaps if you'd not called Junior an uncle fucker and asked him nicely, he'd have showed up today. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Horse son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna find Horse Sun? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. I had my reasons. Your leg would be fine if you hadn't gotten in my way. I see. Well, I promise you that if I could go back in time, I'd do things quite differently on Thanet. For example, I'd have my men kill you instead of just tying you up. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. Think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. These guys have a history? Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake. Someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect. But we just don't talk about it. No need to. Well, that explains it. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. 
Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet and lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Where's the casino? Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with the casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Actually, maybe the house. Arena yeah. sounds promising. I think I maybe go Where's to the that? house first. Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Ooh. Some Gwent. You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> see, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Literally popped her eyes out? From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well. Right, let's play some Gwent. Ever play Gwent? I do. Gwent's like politics, just more honest. Care for a game against an old master? Huh. Yeah, let's play. Please have music though. I don't want music less music less sequent. Well, that goes 100 percent Two spies going here, I'll send this guy. Alright, not not bad. My turn, huh? Me first. What's this? Estrad Thyssen. Thyssen. Alright. Um, I think I'll play this. Alright, he's got some cards. Pay to win, clear any weather effects. All right. This hand is not very good for turn one, is it? Maybe I throw this hand, I mean throw this round.
wonder, is there a max hand size? No. Oh, maybe there is, but that didn't hit it at least. Hmm. All right, let's see. Just keep playing the spy game here. Could always decoy some of these cards, you know, could decoy this. Let's see if there is any chance of winning. This should create some power though. Okay. I think I just keep playing. We are one card up, and we will be another card up when... Uh... Oh... Really? That's how that works? What? Card slash cards on the battlefield, huh? Ow. That hurts. I can get him back, but how much do I have to invest into that? Two cards to get him back. Uh, I really don't want to lose this round. Okay. I don't have to go to get it back on this turn. I played this. I will now get one card back. And I have the double uh, return here. I should have played this actually, that was a mistake. I should have played this. I could have returned it with Yen. Unless he has more of that crap. That is frustrating. That as well. <laughs> Let's just hope he doesn't have much. That's not much.
Maybe I should have kept this in my hand, honestly. Why? Just play it in case one of the cards in his hand is an archer card. An archer card. Fine. I doubt it can produce uh, 52. <laughs> Well, that not bad. See, you don't have Esterad Tyson in your deck. Here, he's yours. Thanks. Know anyone else I could win some cards off of? Mm. I know an elf you might try. Got an excellent card in his deck. You'll find him beyond the city walls, where the Scuyatel stragglers have their shanty town. Oh! We weren't done talking, though, but alright. I got a pretty powerful card, I th think, yeah. Let's remove Vesemir. Stupid face out of uh, out of here. There we go. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't <laughs> get away with it. I did not expect that. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. I've got my own problems. <laughs> problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. This is getting a lot of, uh, this is getting hectic, a lot of uh, stuff happening at the same time. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? No idea what you're talking about. You are the worst liar I have ever known. Glad I don't need you to win a poker game for me. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Sure. Arbitrary amount of money. Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. So kind as to follow me. Is it a monster or something? It's a lot of shit happening. With this underworld stuff, we have the blacksmith, the cleaver guy, the three different places to um, visit to find Junior. Now this. See, that is the... 
That is a crossroads of this uh, this place. It's gonna end, but I can't really end here. That would just be mean. Oh, Bart! Not again, Bart! Bart, stop that now! Bart, man! Bart makes Ziggy lose, Jonathan. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? But less thinky. But less thinky. But sadler. Where'd you get the troll? From Zericania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there, Ziggy Bart take. Good Ziggy. Okay. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God, then boom, Chorfun go. Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff, and you will help me get it back. All right. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> The gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. But jump that good. Sure, why not? Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. <laughs> Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right, ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, Poor troll. God. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole oh, no. Boom. Hole. Oh, no. <laughs> Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shoes head fall. Someone drug him? Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad troll. 
Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mould spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad troll. Now, now, stiff up a lip. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Big... Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole <laughs> life. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox, Fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonts, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped fonts and ran like hell. Smart. Well, that's a lot of talking. This episode got a little bit longer than I wanted. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. This guy started out fairly calm and intelligent, and now he's just grumpy like the rest of the people in this world. I want to kill him. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Alright. <laughs> hey Bart, got a minute? Minute? Bart, no minute, God. Bart, Jesus, Bart, troll. Scott? <laughs> Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? But no! <laughs> this guy, I like him. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Okay, I'll explore this. Uh, thanks for your help. In the next episode. So long. Mm. Long. 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 Alright. Well, that was a long one. Didn't really, uh, conclude anything. If anything, we just got, uh, mixed up in even more shit. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and see you in the next one. Bye.